Welcome to this video, today I'm making this RGB play button award in the style of the old YouTube creator awards because I reached a thousand subscribers. First I modeled a smooth 3D play button based on the YouTube logo using surfacing tools in Siemens NX. Next I laid out the LEDs in a 13x9 grid and exported the DXF from Siemens NX to import into Easy EDA. This made it easy to place the WS2812B LEDs accurately on the PCB layout. I ordered the PCBs and play buttons on GLC PCB and GLC 3DP. They provided me with a coupon to order the parts for this project. A few days later I received a package with everything well packaged inside. Both the PCBs and 3D prints are high quality and affordable. If you want to make something similar I recommend their services. You can find a link to their website in the video description. I chose a white PCB to reflect the light and I ordered the play buttons in multiple materials to see what works best. I ended up using the 1mm thick 9600 resin shell. Using the stencil I applied the solder paste to the PCB and using some tweezers I placed the WS2812B LEDs on the PCB. By using the T55 hot plate I was able to cleanly solder the LEDs in place by moving the PCB around a few times because it's bigger than the hot plate. The other components were soldered in place using the SI012 soldering iron. Secure generously provided the hot plate and soldering iron free of charge. You can find a link to their website in the video description. Next I installed the WLED firmware by going to install.wled.me. Selecting a version, connecting the ESP8266 D1 Mini microcontroller and clicking install. Next I entered the Wi-Fi credentials and visited the device on its local IP to change the settings such as the maximum current and the 2D matrix layout. I also added the pixel art of the YouTube logo using the pixel magic tool that's built into WLED. I don't go into great detail about the WLED settings here because there are already a lot of great tutorials about it here on YouTube. I placed the finished PCB in the frame, attached the border and placed one of the shells in front of the LEDs. There are also GPIO connections on the PCB to add buttons that are configurable in the firmware. I also added a piece to guide the light to the middle of the logo. This has a big effect when displaying the YouTube logo but is unnoticeable when displaying animations. I want to thank all 1000 of you for helping me reach this milestone. If you're new here and you want to see more of my projects, you can subscribe using the button down below. I also ordered a vinyl sticker with lettering for the front, but that didn't arrive in time for this video, so I'll put it on my Instagram once it does. That was it for this video, if you have any questions you can ask them in the comments below. Please consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye!